you've known Polar for a long time. You met Amy Polar back in Chicago. What was your first meeting like? Um, well, one of my good friends named Ragsdale lived with. I'm so glad you have a friend named Ragsdale. Ragsdale. I mean, and he's just what you would think. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, like Ragsdale gave me my first Neil Gaiman comic book. Oh, there so, you go. Like, That's a classic Ragsdale, Ragsdale move. Yeah. Ragsdale's like, you know, you can clean the resin out of that thing. And uh, <laughs> he, he, had, he had all the tips. Yeah, yeah. We all need a Ragsdale. Ragsdale. You had, you had, you're lucky you had a sensei and a Ragsdale. Totally. Yeah. Ragsdale lived in a house with, with Matt Besser, one of the, one of the founders, UCB founders yes. of, of Upright Citizens Brigade. And so we, Amy and I met at parties over there, uh, making mischief. And we, we did, uh, we recognized one another in a sort of sibling way of like, hey, <laughs> you know, like, you're a class clown, I'm a class clown. <laughs> and she would always just punch me. That would, <laughs> And, and, I, and I was like, we're, yeah, I've been friends with her for a long time. She punches me when I see her. Um, uh, and then, of course, you, uh, as we've already mentioned, uh, Parks and Recreation, Ron Swanson. How, uh, uh, to finish up here, how do you think Ron Swanson would be handling uh, the coronavirus panic? I don't think he would necessarily notice. Um, <laughs> but if he did, I mean, if, if Leslie would probably send him a missive or some sort of message, and he would just take his family... Uh, to one of his cabins in the woods where yeah. he was heading anyway, and they would just enjoy, you know, some fishing and some, some items from his garden yeah. until things blew over. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we should all be so lucky to have uh, uh, Ron Swanson's uh, self-preservation. Uh, uh, yeah, when the <laughs> goes down, Ron is all set up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Thank you, you so much for being here. Nick Offerman.